guys in this video I want to share with you a list of 10 things that I no longer buy from new and I haven't been buying them from new for a while now because I have been using consignment shops vintage shops and yes I do upcycle items that I get when I buy my groceries such as you will find out stick with me and i'll show you all these things that you don't have to buy from new and you can save yourself some money so let's get started with that list number one is glasswares which includes all your stemware or your wine glasses your drinking glasses or your glass plates most times they are available for between 50 cents to two dollars depending on the material the type of glass because really sometimes you do find good crystal glasses in vintage shops so for example you could get four great drinking glasses in the vintage shop for two bucks as opposed to going to buy it for five or 10 bucks that is a savings of anywhere from three to eight bucks number two is porcelain breakfast and dinnerware whether it's dinner plates side plates breakfast plates um cup and saucers you can find them there teapots you can find them there and they're usually priced modestly also between 50 cents and two dollars not to mention sometimes they do have sales like 50 percent off sale just check out your thrift store and to see when they're having sale go on in and save yourself some big bucks number three is storage canisters storage canisters i use a lot especially in my kitchen for my grains and teas and these i don't buy new yeah i may get them new sometimes but they are purchased in the thrift store and i do upcycle my jars when i do groceries and get my jarred products and that has saved me big time number four is bakeware i don't buy bakeware new i haven't bought bakeware new for some time now and the bakeware that i get from the thrift store is good enough more than good enough to do the baking that i do as a matter of fact sometimes the pans that i get are next to new Number five is party stuff. I don't go anywhere but my thrift shop when I'm throwing a party. From decorations to plastic cups and spoons and plates and bowls and trays, you can get it in the thrift shop. And the best thing of all is they are usually next to new or sometimes even new. And they save you big bucks. So guys, that's the first five. Now, the other five items that I will be going through on the list are mostly decorative. And we all know how expensive it can be to decorate your home or your office space. Now stick with me and I'll give you those five decorative items that you can buy in the thrift store, the vintage stores, and yard sales, garage sales, estate sales, and save big. Number six is candle holders. Now, whether it be candle sconces that I put on my wall, candle labras or candle stands that I put on my fireplace mantles, whatever type of candle holder it is, I thrift them. I don't buy them new. I could not tell you the last time I bought a candle holder new. Thrift them and save some Number money. Number seven is flower pots. Now I'm an avid gardener, so I love to plant my flowers, whether it's indoor or outdoors. So I'm always in the market for flower pots. 
But the only new flower pots I buy are the ones that I find at the garage sale or in a thrift store. I gotta save me some money wherever I can, whenever I can. Why buy new when you can get it used? You will see some of my flower pots that I have thrifted represented in the video here. Number eight, vases. Now, I mentioned before that I like planting my flowers. I like cutting my flowers too. So I bring them in, especially in the summer. So I do need some vases around, but I don't buy them new. I thrift them or I upcycle beautiful bottles that I get in my groceries to display my flowers. Number nine. Yes, guys, we're at number nine. And number nine is baskets. Now, basket storage baskets are very important in helping me to keep my home organized from my laundry room to my kitchen to the closet to the bathroom. You name it. Storage baskets are important and I don't buy them new. I thrift them. Number 10, guys, is wall art. Whether we're talking about a print, a drawing, a canvas painting, it's usually pretty pricey. Unless, of course, you go to your thrift store. Now, the first place I go to to look for wall art is a thrift store or the garage sale or the estate sale as a certified interior decorator even when i'm sourcing for my clients i thrift the artwork okay so guys thrift your artwork and if you don't thrift your artwork you can actually use your kids art for wall art it doesn't have to be a big deal guys artwork is subjective so save yourself some money and thrift your artwork guys i hope this list was helpful to you and you will get busy saving some money if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with somebody leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe now because there's a lot more to come you take care now and I'll see you for the next video.